I made it to my tree. So it's pretty windy today. I got my tr tree harness on as always. Got to be safe out here. So I don't know if you guys can tell by the footage, but I am in my lucky buck tree. At least that's what I call it. I've killed two bucks out of this same tree. So with any luck and this this extra wind tonight, it'll cover any movement or scent that I may disperse. And the deer will come through here, and I'll get a shot. So. If you like these kind of videos, please feel free to subscribe down below, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification button to see more of them. Time to sit tight.
all those deer in here that I had on camera, all of them, including that little five point buck. I didn't know if I got him on camera, but he came running in too. I was going to shoot that doe to my right. They were right underneath me. Like I was saying just a little bit ago, there are a couple advantages of it being so windy. One, the deer can't see you. Number two, they can't smell you. Even when that doe was downwind, she couldn't smell me. She did, however, see something weird up in the tree. That one little one was running around. What a fun night. I'm not even sure if I hit record or it stopped recording, but I just smoked her. Right in the heart. I missed the shot. The dang tacticam, I think the memory's full. It's 4.36. 30. I was doing some bleats and those does came back. I seen that nice buck that I want to shoot and I grunted at him. He wasn't coming. And then that big doe with the fawns came back so I shot her. I aimed true 20 yards. I, I don't know if I hit record on the camera or not. I said screw the camera. I'm going to shoot her. She was standing perfectly broadside. The bad thing is, is there was no pass through. I think I hit that opposite side shoulder. I could see that arrow sticking out, that Luminoc. I love those Luminocs. They light up every time. Deer number one, baby, deer number one. I hope we find her. I better sit tight and be quiet. That buck is still around. <laughs> I just checked the camera. I did not get the shot. I did not hit record. Man, that's okay though. I did get some pre-roll on them deer, so. I got me taking the shot with my cell phone, pointing back at back towards me as a secondary camera, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, she was digging. She was digging dirt, man. Got us one, 2018. It's been about 45 minutes since I've taken the shot. I'm pretty confident that she is dead. So I'm gonna get ready and slowly climb down, walk over to the site where she was standing. Go from there. Gosh, I keep wishing that buck would come. I'm not sure which way he went, but I'll figure it out this year. Okay, I'll get back with you when I'm on the trail made it onto the ground and I'm headed over to the spot where she was standing. Maybe we can pick up blood right away, I'm hoping. Okay, she was standing right here. My tree. I don't know if you can see my tree stand, but there's my tree. She took off this way. I haven't even found a speck of blood yet. Here she is. About 60 yards from where I shot. It's kind of weird. Ooh. I didn't find any blood. I, um, I haven't found any. I see a deer, so let's go check her out. Oh, here's some blood. Yeah, there's a bunch of blood there. Oh, 
cheetahs are bad in here. I already know where she is. I'm just trying to brush up. Wow. Rages do make a blood trail once you find it. Top over right there. Around. Put that tree there. Wow. Looks like she ran right into that tree. Crazy. I found a dead deer back here about eight years ago. Look where it is. There's the skull, leg bones. She's even got the blood on one of those other deer bones. How ironic is that? No arrow. Perfect hit. Drilled her. Oh yeah, she's going to be delicious. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That just goes to show you, you know, she's not a trophy, but she's a trophy doe. And uh, with a little hard work and getting a couple cameras stolen, you can find the deer. I'm going to actually backtrack this blood trail and see if I can find my arrow. So I'm going to do that now. Actually first, sorry, first, I'm going to call this deer in to the DNR, get it registered right away. That's what I'm going to do. I'm on the backtrack job now. Let's see if I can find that arrow. Blood there. She pretty much ran in a straight line. This is where she came across this creek. Don't see any blood. There's my arrow. I shot a deer with that one already. This deer number two with that range. Okay, I'm gonna go get my tree stand and go back to the deer and get to processing it. So I just went back to my tree, grabbed my tree stand, got my lone wolf here. I love these, they fold flat and I can fit my backpack on there. Got my arrow and I'm at the exact spot where I shot my deer again. And I'm gonna actually follow the blood this time. So. I know she went this way right away, and I went three steps. There's the blood, instantly. That just goes to show you when you make a nice shot, you should get blood. Whoa, look at that old post. Should get blood right away. Sprayed right here. Ladies and gentlemen, first deer of the year for 2018. Got it with my Mission Riot. Um, she's a pretty big doe. I think she's about two and a half, maybe three and a half years old. So she's going to do well for my family and give us lots of jerky. So thanks, deer, for your life. Thank you for all the meat you're going to provide us. But I got to do it. I shot a deer. She's a good girl. You did right. All right, time to get her cleaned out. Got to field dresser and get her 
quarter mile to the van. So uh, I'll see you when we get home. And as always, people, please remember to wear your safety harnesses. Practice all safety requirements for hunting and shooting. Um, I can say safely that I've never had an accident while I'm hunting. And that's because I take the preparation beforehand to avoid accidents. So always be prepared. Always have fun. If you're like me, I know you will. And uh, see you on the next one, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for watching.